Hi everyone, this is Charity with Stamping with Charity and today I am going to show you how to make this lovely Christmas card. It has Christmas designs on it, but it could be for something that you're celebrating that says cheers from our home to yours. That could be not Christmas if you switch out the colors. This is using the new Christmas Tidings and Trimmings stamp set in the new holiday, or actually this is in the annual catalog, and the coordinating dies. To get started, you need a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock that is cut at four and one quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Then I have taken a piece of Sahara sand and cut it four and an eighth inches by five and three inches, three eighths inch, and ran it through the time-worn embossing folder. I love the look of this folder. You're going to adhere that down to your cherry cobbler base using your favorite adhesive. I like to adhere this down, any embossed layer down using liquid purpose glue. I feel that you get a much stronger adhesion. Then you will take a piece of designer series paper that is cut at one and a quarter inches wide from five to five and three eighths inches long. And this one is actually a little bit longer because I should have cut it off before I adhered it down. But I have another piece here that I cut so I'm going to match it up and trim it off here before I... And this is from the same designer series pack that coordinates, it's called Tidings of Christmas. And you get all these beautiful colors. Such a pretty paper pack. So I am going to adhere this strip, again using Tombow Multi-Purpose Glue. And it is approximately a quarter of an inch from the edge. Then the next thing you will do is we are going to cut a piece of evening evergreen that is three and a quarter by four and a half, a piece of gold foil that is three and an eighth by four and three eighths. We're going to layer this on top of here. And then our final piece of designer series paper will be three inches by four and a quarter. And we, I went ahead and actually um, cut out my stars, but before I did that I put adhesive sheet behind the gold so I could use it on my cherry cobbler star. And I did the same thing with this basic white. I put cut this webbing, is what I'm calling it, detailed out of basic white after I adhered an adhesive sheet. So once you get that done, you will layer them all together, and this is what you, your piece will look like. And nobody will see that you cut out the stars. Tie your ribbon on next, and this is the evergreen chevron ribbon. 
And then we are going to adhere this entire piece down. And approximately, I'm going to go a quarter of an inch from this edge and a half an inch from the top. Again, I'm going to use multi-purpose glue. I'm going to stay away from the cutout areas. And just set your piece down, line it up, hold it for a few seconds. Now, I would take the star that you cut out of cherry, cho cherry cobbler and the gold details, and since I have that adhesive sheet on the back, all of it just peels off, and I have a sticker. Stick this on, and I like to flip it over and take a clear block. And just rub. That way I know it's stuck good. I'm going to do the same thing with the one that I cut out of basic white. And a lot of these just peel right out, as you can see. And if not, since it's a sticker, I can pull the rest of them out. And again, adhere this down. This is a sticker. It has a it's sticky on the back already. Flip it over again. Take your clear black and rub. Now, I want to adhere this one down. And I'm going to pop up my cherry cobbler star. So again, I am going to, and I want to make sure that my star does not hang over. The edge of my cardstock. So put on your liquid adhesive. Tuck it in here. Use some dimensionals on your smaller star. a scrap of the Sahara sand and I am going to use the cheers from your house or from our house to yours and I'm going to stamp this in this one I did in memento I'm going to try this one in evening evergreen And since this is photopolymer, you can see through it. And I want to banner end, so I'm just cutting the scrap off, grabbing my tailored tag punch. And I'm sure you guys have seen this trick before. This gives you a nice bannered end.
And now I'm going to take a few of the glue dots because I want to position my ribbon so it looks like it's got a little bend in it. So just place your glue dot down. And then position your ribbon how you'd like it. And then we are going to pop up Cheers with Stampin' Dimensionals. And on this card, I added some of the fine art, the, their, um, gold enamel gems, which are now retired, but you could also add some of the gilded gems, which I don't have right now, and they would look beautiful. And the reason I don't have them is because I used them on this card. I used the last of them, so I need to order some more. But as you can see, this gold would look amazing on here. So, to finish the inside, we are going to take another piece of Sahara sand that is cut at four by five and a quarter. You can stamp your sentiment on it and you can add a piece of designer series paper like I did. This is just a scrap along the edge. I hope you enjoy this card and check back often. Happy stamping.